Hey everybody, welcome back to the amazing channel. I am Jillian Berry and today we have a legend in the house. Look at this. We are in Joe Cross's kitchen. The man is amazing. Hey, how's it going? Welcome Jillian. Thank you. Great for uh, you all to be here joining us today. What a voice. He's awesome. You guys, I am so stoked. We are going to show you Joe Cross's favorite juice recipe. And for those of you who don't know Joe, I'm sure many of you do. He is part of the successful documentary, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. I think it was from 2010 or 2012, right? Uh, 2011. You split the sides. It was wow, yeah. right, right in the middle. We launched it in 2011 onto Netflix. And uh, yeah, we're, we're now out 12 years. Yes. It's got a life of its own, this film. Crazy. And the Juice Fast totally changed your life. And we're going to be talking more about that in another video. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into the juice and let's see how to make it in this beautiful Nama. Joe is actually one of the creators of the Nama Juicer, which is my favorite juicer and so many people's favorite juicer around the globe. It is amazing. So why don't you tell us a little bit about it and why you think it's so amazing? Sure, Julian. Well, look, the, uh, the this is the Nama J2 that you're seeing here on the screen. You might, if you haven't seen a J2 before, and you're at home and you've got like a centrifugal juicer or you've got something a little bit different, you may notice this is kind of big and, and, and large at the top. This is what's called the hopper. And in the hopper, what this juicer is designed for you to do is you to load up your juice, load up all your ingredients for your recipe, and then turn it on and walk away so you can do other things. Yeah, which is what I love at home. I am a mom of two kids and I'll load it up, make my juice, go do some YouTube work on my computer, some laundry, come back. Yeah. It's great. Exactly. So the idea is that this is a load and walk away, saves time, and also you don't need to do as much preparation. We don't need to chop up as much. For example, we're going to be placing whole green apples inside of our J2. Now the J2 then has a couple of blades and you can take a look inside and I'll open this up and take a look and you can see these blades, what they do is these blades, they spin around and they chop and cut and prep all of the produce before it goes down into the auger. So the chamber down below, we have an auger, we have a press, it, it actually twists, the, the auger sort of like grinds and it spins at around 33 revolutions per minute. Now, do you know what that emulates, Gillian? What? Oh, wow, our yeah. chewing. I love it. So it emulates our chewing. So we are mm -hmm. sort of only squeezing and pressing the produce that we would do when we masticate, when we chew our, our, our celery. And then down through here, it's kind of like a little mini me. Out on one side comes the waste, which is the, the high fiber, which is good for us. But when we're juicing, we want to extract out all the nutrients, which are not in the fiber. They're actually in the water, which is in the juice part. That's the the color of that juice is where your nutrients are. And then you spin that. Now, if you want to have the fiber, you can make cookies, you can do plenty of things with it, and you can do smoothies and eat your salad. But the juicing is more about supercharging your phytonutrients. It's more about getting as much of the good stuff into your body as possible. It's like supercharging is how I like to think about it. Mm -hmm. So that's basically my A to Z on quick up and down on the J2. And I have to say like the color is different. So I compared with my old juicer. I'm not going to say what it is. I don't like to diss any company, but I compared it to the Nama and I made the same ingredients, the same juice. And literally the color was different. Like this was way more nutrient dense. The other one had so much more foam. This yeah. is like a clear juice. How did you guys do that? You are going to extract out mm -hmm. um, about 25 to 30% more nutrients from leafy greens mm -hmm. from a J2 than you are from a centrifugal juice. It's just the technology and the way that the actual, we're not using gravity, we're not using force against a spinning action. We're using it where we are actually really getting in very close and the, and the, the, the auger up against the mesh mm -hmm. is really pressing hard and it's extracting out every last drop of uh, the liquid which is actually just you know, 99.9 percent .9 water and it feels like a healthier juice because of that and like you said you literally you get so much more juice i swear i'm so passionate about it i love it you guys and i'll put my code down below to say 55 dollars if you want one but you literally get so much more juice out of the produce so that's why it's worth it uh, you I, know I, look to me i think it's um a great investment up front. It's not, it's not for everybody because not everybody can afford it, and I totally understand yeah. that, right? But there are payment plans. Mm -hmm. Nama does offer payment plans. But the reality is, is that over the long run, you're going to extract more nutrition out of the produce that you're putting in. Mm -hmm. So in the long term, it does pay for itself. Yeah, it does. Okay, if, well, if you're a big juicer, right? Yeah. And it makes okay. you, but the thing is, it makes you a big juicer. This, I didn't used to juice every day. Does. This makes me juice yeah. every day. Okay. Well, well, I do. I don't juice every day, believe it or not, Julian. I'm a batch juicer. What I do is I juice every three days. 
and I make enough for three days, put it in my mason jars like this, put the lid on, and then I seal it in the fridge. Okay. And juice can last in three days, which actually is, to me, it uh, means I only do one cleaner every three days. Mm -hmm. So I love the juicing part, the cleanup part, huh? I could, I could, I could pass. <laughs> but you know what? Cleaning up the J2, it's much easier than any other juice I've used. It's freaking so easy. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so. that's what I love. It's easy to take apart, easy to put together. Okay, you guys know we love it, but you want to see the recipe too, so let's get into let's the recipe. Let's get into the recipe. So when we talk about my favorite recipe, mm -hmm. Jillian, I have a lot of favorites. So it's very hard to narrow down. So today, I'm going to do a little bit of a twist on my mean green. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put in, or we're going to make a juice that has pineapple, it has celery, cucumber, ginger, apple and lemon. Now this juice is one of my favorite juices because of the high concentration of greens that come through here. Mm -hmm. This is gonna look like a really green juice, but you're gonna, because of the apple and the pineapple, it's gonna be just sweet enough, particularly if you've got kids that are gonna taste this and they're gonna go, wow, I, I want a bit more of that. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my tricks for people at home. Green is great, add in just as much fruit as you need to get it to the taste. You'll find you don't need to add that much to mm -hmm. get it sweet enough, all right? And do you ever drink just fruit juice or you think it's too much? Like too much? Oh, no, no, I do. I have grapefruit juice in the mornings. Cool. All before right. working out, before going for a walk, I like having just a grapefruit juice. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, so uh, we're ready to crack open our J2 and yep. let's get started. All right, okay. so Julia, why don't you yeah. feed okay. away? Yeah, sure. We're going to put in the pineapple and then just for this particular J2, before you put that lemon in, Julian, I just want to make sure everyone sees this at home. We've actually got the new strainer. This is a strainer that's a separate piece, sold separately. But because you love a strainer, I, love I thought we'd try the strainer today and see how it goes, all right? Okay, Ready? let's let's put our lemon in. And one, one thing you're going to notice here, there's a line on the top of the hopper. You maybe can't see it at home, but there is a line. It's kind of faint. We didn't want to make it too big. We don't want to fill over that. So let's put some celery in on top of this. Oh, lid. okay, yeah. So if you fill over that, you might... Yeah, we don't want to do that. You we, might we, break we want, to, we want to fill to about this line. It's around here. Okay. So let's put some celery in. Yep. Um, and yep, and then and then maybe we'll put some ginger with that. Yep. I like to mix up my ingredients because mm -hmm. the blend the, the juicer is actually blending it all for us and one apple. Good. All right. So let's close down our hopper, and it's a very simple thing we do over here. We just it's a one switch, and you'll notice that the J2 is super quiet. It's actually a very quiet machine. Previously, in other juices, when I was doing juicing demonstrations around the world, I'd be on TV, I'd be in malls. And I couldn't speak at all while the juice was being made. And the, and the reporter or the news person is looking at me going, how do we talk? I'm going, I'm sorry, wait 30 seconds. But now you can hear us really well. It's like super clear. And now what you'll notice if you take a look here, you'll start to see that we're starting to get the pulp is coming out on this side. And you'll see that that pulp is, for, is, is really on the move. And that is super dry. Take, take a look. Feel of that, do you? Mm -hmm. Just feel that. It's super dry, right? It's so dry. And then it just knocks off your hands. Mm -hmm. Now, over here, we're going to wait to see when our juicer gets up to about here. We're getting getting high now. Because we loaded up our hopper, we have to monitor how much juice is coming in. Mm -hmm. The good thing is this is a fail safe. If you do forget about it, all that will happen is the juice will go into the hopper. It will not overflow. Mm -hmm. Right, so we're going to release over on our side here now. And here comes our juice. You can see that coming out. And you actually see the strainer, actually just how good the J2 is, because very little pulp. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring that up for your camera there to see that, so you can see. Very little pulp came through, as you can see. So, very cool, right? So, yeah. let's load up now. Let's put some ginger. Okay. Let's put some celery and cucumber. Yeah. We've got a little bit more um, apples to go in here. And this is going to be great. We've got uh, our mason jars ready. I think that's probably yeah. enough for the yeah. moment. Let's go down. We turn that on and you could see that while we were talking, having a chat, having a conversation, maybe you want to enter the dishwasher, maybe put another load of washing on, mm -hmm. maybe do something with the kids, get something organized, going on the shirt or whatever mm -hmm. it is you do in the morning. You've actually let the machine, let the J2 go to work and do it for you. And yeah. that's the whole idea, load and walk away. Yeah. And okay, so what if somebody says to you, Joe, well, what about the fiber? Shouldn't we have smoothies or shouldn't we just yeah, eat Yeah, yeah. Now look, fiber is fantastic and fiber is great for you. but. You know, the, the big problem is that people are not eating enough produce. They're not eating enough. Mm -hmm. And one of those benefits of eating a lot of produce is getting those micronutrients into you, those phytochemicals. And the reality is that if you can actually take what we had on our board here and you saw just how much produce, we're going to make that. It's going to give us close to two nice glasses of, of juice. You just drink those every morning. You've actually consumed all those nutrients. So there's plenty of time to have your salad. 
have a couple of oranges or an apple or something with fiber in later in the day. There's no way you're gonna eat all of what was on the bench there for mm -hmm. breakfast. Yeah. So you're not gonna get all that fiber into you anyway. Mm -hmm. So fiber is fantastic, we love fiber, it's incredibly important, but fiber is something that goes in one end and out the other. Fiber does not have nutrition. Mm -hmm. Fiber is good for your bowel, good for cleaning out, good for digestion. So this is like a little mini me, mm -hmm. and that we're kind of doing all of that for us so that when we drink our, our, our garden in a cup, our liquid sunshine, we're bringing those nutrients straight into our system. So we don't have much more to go. As you can see down here on our, on our uh, table, we've got just a little bit to go. We'll load those into a hopper. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Julian. Look at that, fantastic. It's like the magic trick. It's like the assistant and the magician, and here we go. And what are we magically doing? We're making liquid sunshine. Yeah, we are. We are taking all of that nutrition from the sun, from the soil, from the atmosphere, from the dirt, from all of that, and we're bringing it all together into our beautiful plants, and now we're extracting it yeah. into this gorgeous juice. Come down and take a look at our, our pulp that's coming out here. You can sort of see this is like moving really nicely. You want to make sure that's going at a nice flow. That's how you know that your J2 is working terrific. If we take a look inside here, you can sort of see there's a whole bunch of celery that's to go, but those blades are working overtime inside and they're chopping it up into small pieces and dropping it down into our chamber where the auger is taking it against the mesh. It's pressing it 33 revolutions per second as we spoke about earlier, and it's extracting out incredible nutrition on this side and taking out our pulp on this side. And a lot of people do things with the pulp. They give it to animals, they use it for the garden, they make cookies, they, they do all sorts of things with it. We've got a whole stuff on the NAMA website about what you can do with your pulp. So while we're spinning that around, let's come over and let's just finish up our last little pour of our juice here. We'll let that out. Now this has a little plunger too, which is kind of cool. And you can put that on top like that. And then you just press that down on an angle and you can see we're getting all of the last bit of juice that's coming out. Probably went a little bit too full today, but hey, it's my <laughs> favorite juice. So let's go and let's see if we can do it without a drop, which we did just. <laughs> we did just. You did good. We did good. There we go. You know what time it is now, don't you? Taste test time. It's taste time. <laughs> so let's grab a hold. Let's cheers. 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 Thank you for coming to my house today. Yeah, thank you for having us. You're welcome. What do we think? Oh, wow. That's nice. That's refreshing. Oh, that's mm, good. Good, right? Yeah, clean, refreshing, delicious. One of the tricks I do for summertime, I serve it with ice. I yeah. like my juice to be a little bit chilled, a little bit mm -hmm. cold. Or you put the lid on, put it in the refrigerator for an hour or two, mm -hmm. and out it comes and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, amazing. I love it. All right. Yeah, well, thanks well, for sharing this with us. You're welcome, Julian. Thanks for coming into Joe's, Joe's Kitchen. We love being in Joe's Kitchen. And of course, everybody, don't forget, juice on. <laughs> yeah, juice on. Be sure to subscribe. And we just did a great video about how to do a proper juice fast with Joe right in the kitchen here as well. I'll link it below. Be sure to watch that. And I'll put it on the screen right now as well. And stay tuned. Coming up next is 10 questions with Joe Cross as well. And we're going to get into everything about the documentary business, his juice fast experience, you name it. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.